What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Brandon and this, welcome to next week's adventure. On this channel here, we pretty much just do projects and uh, I try to tell you what exactly goes wrong with them. If they go wrong, I'm going to be honest with you. If a part fails or I fail or whatever, I'm going to tell you so that when you're doing this project, you don't run into these problems yourself or you kind of have a heads up what to expect. So it is 2024. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a great Christmas and I hope this year you're able to get out there, work on your projects, finish your projects, and get out and enjoy, whether it's hiking, camping, fishing, racing, whatever you're doing. I hope this is the year that you're able to complete everything you want and have a good time. So yes, per the title of this video, we're cleaning house. I've been selling a lot of projects. Let's go over here and check out my board. I'll show you what we got going on. So if you're familiar here, we threw up a little, little maintenance data log board and uh, we've got a couple openings now. So this is where the RAM was and then we got the Mercury up here. The RAM's gone. That was Project Dumpster to Daily. The whole goal behind that one was to save that truck from going to a scrapyard. So if you're not familiar with it, go back in the playlist, look up Dumpster to Daily. It was a fun project. Love that truck. Sounded amazing. But we finished our goal with it. Our goal was to keep it from being put in a scrapyard, fix it up, make it look cool. The new owner that's got it, he's out there continuing on with that project, fix some more stuff on it, and that thing is gonna stay on the road for quite a while, and that is awesome. That was the whole goal behind it. Project with the Mercury. Uh, at the time, buddy Austin, remember him? He's in some of my older videos. He moved to California, didn't need to take the car with him. I needed a car with AC. That one worked perfect, so I scored it for a deal. Now, we've had our fun with it, but unfortunately, I'm not gonna dive into that one. We are putting that up for sale. Actually, it is pending. Facebook Marketplace to the rescue. Uh, Weeding, behind, weeding through all the low ballers and uh, the ones that don't show up. We might have a sale on this one. We're getting that one out of here. So we're gonna have a lot of space on this board for a new project. I'm not sure what I wanna do. All right, now right out the gate, some of you might be wondering, where's the Jeep? Trust me, it's fine. The Jeep, she's outside, freezing to death. It's like 25 degrees outside, it's fine. The Jeep isn't going anywhere. The Jeep is the reason this channel started. So I don't care how much money, cash, check, charge, whatever somebody wants to give me for it, that thing isn't leaving. And I guarantee you, I don't care. If somebody comes up and offers me like 100 grand for that thing, which would be awesome, it's not going anywhere. I can't sell that thing. So don't worry, Jeep projects are always gonna continue because it's a Jeep thing, I guess, whatever you wanna say, you know. Something always needs to be done to it. I plan on getting out more, doing a lot more camping with it. That's gonna be, my solo run, have a good time, go out to weird places that you can't really get to, and just enjoy the outdoors. But I was wondering, I was thinking about doing some other projects, right? And I wanna put it out there to you guys. What do you wanna see? What kind of stuff are you into? Is it just the Jeep stuff? Or do you like doing the other stuff? I wanna know, so comment down below. Which brings me to a crucial point in the channel. Let's start another build. And I gotta figure out what kind of build I wanna do. So, I've really been thinking about this one. And uh, financially, I don't think either one of them are probably a good decision, but one's probably gonna be a little heavier than the other. So, I don't know. Let's go check out what I'm thinking about, all right? Here we go, let's go. So the first option is this. Not exactly this one, uh, because this one's about fifty to sixty thousand dollars. So what I am looking for is a Ford Transit, high roof, extended wheelbase. I think it'd be the coolest thing on the planet to build. What about you guys? Well, like I said, not this one. This one's about sixty grand, and it's not even the one I want. I need the longer one. All right. Well, that was option number one. What do you guys think? I'm super pumped about it. I think that the van is going to be killer because the Jeep is great, don't get me wrong. I've put a lot of blood, set, sweat, and tears into building that Jeep up to what it is, but honestly, the Jeep is really only made for me to be able to go out and do adventures. Now I can have buddies come with and all that stuff, but they got to drive their own rigs because the Jeep is very small and I got a lot of crap, all right? I'm, I'm a pack rat when it comes to going out there. I want everything I'm going to need and probably two of those, you know, just to make sure. So my idea behind this van is something that 
either I can go out and do a solo trip on like a weeknight or a weekend or whatever, whether it's one night, two nights, three nights, a week, that's the kind of thing that would be awesome. I don't have to take it deep off road. I can just go out hit campgrounds. I can do pull off areas, that kind of stuff. But the other part about the van is I can take the family with me. So what I'd like to do, probably not this summer, or maybe, I don't know, it depends on the scheduling. If I go down the route with the van, I can pack up the whole family. We can take a week off or two weeks off. We can travel out west and just do a long road trip somewhere and everything's in there. And that's, that's kind of what I'm going for for that one. So the other thing with the van is we could take everything we've learned from doing the Jeep and we can kind of transfer it over to the van. So as far as my solar goes, and my power options and the heat because I got my little diesel heater running over here right now. I'm trying to burn some fuel out of it. But all the stuff with the low voltage lighting and doing like custom cabinetry and plumbing and all that stuff, it's really fascinating to me. I, I can't wait if we decide to go that route to dive into that one. I think that's gonna be killer because you see these things and they're like $100,000 when they're fully built. And my goal for that is show you all that you can go out you can buy one of these vans not not that one that one was i think the sticker on it was honestly it was like fifty-eight thousand for that one uh we don't have that kind of money but my goal is to show you to go out get a used one and then be able to build everything inside it that you want and you need and not be in debt up to your eyeballs or and then some you know i'm trying to keep this thing cheaper than buying a house and that seems to be what you have to do if you're gonna buy a new one. Because I mean like a Mercedes Sprinter van that's fully built, I've seen them for like $140,000, $150,000 used. Like that to me, that that's, that's mind blowing. So I think by being able to take everything we learned from the Jeep, keep it on not really a strict budget friendly, but just a user friendly DIY kind of build, I think we got this one in the bag. Which kind of brings me to option number two. Uh, this one is completely different from what the channel's kind of used to. Uh, this one will be impressive if we can pull it off. And I really kind of want to. It's been years in the making. So let's go ahead and check out option number two. All right, well, this here is option number two. And this, I mean, it's not much here. But this is a 1984 Mustang GT. And not just any 84 Mustang GT. This is my first car. I acquired this car in November of 1997. I drove it for three years. It was a magnitude of different colors. Tons of different parts on it. Blew up a transmission in it. But the last time this car has seen pavement and had been, has been driven was back in the fall of 2000 when I took it out to get the paintwork done. We had a cage put in it. We did subflame connectors on it. And uh, ever since then, this is the state it's been in. So let me show you what we've got going on here. So I want to apologize for the lighting. I mean, it is a lot brighter here than uh, the camera shows, but we did have it painted very nicely. Uh, like I said, the last time this car was ever on a road was in the fall of 2000. And this is the state that it's in now. I came out one time, I took everything out of it, including all the wire harnesses and you name it. But God, this is a project that I've been really wanting to get back in on. You know, it's, it's been neglected for probably for far too long. Uh, but the cool thing with this project is I literally have like 96% of all the parts for it. So honestly, this project here makes more sense financially. There's nothing going on in this car. The engine's out of it, transmission's out of it, axles are out of it, suspension's out of it. What you see is what you get. So this project is going to be a big one if this is the one we decide to start on this year. You know, 2024 is going to be a banger. So we got a lot of work ahead of us on something like this. So like I was saying, uh, this is what 24 years Will do to you you just start collecting all the parts you need for your build i literally have the old engine that's actually it's a built motor down here this is carbureted 
but we are going to switch it to fuel injection. I have the transmission right down over here. I've got old parts. I've got brake parts. I've got motor parts, interior parts, you name it. Suspension parts, gears. It's literally all on shelves right here. And I can guarantee you on a project like this, as much as I'd like uh, Derek from Vice Group Garage to come walking in and, and get this thing going in a weekend and drive it home, but I don't think that's gonna happen. This one's gonna take a lot of work. So, and it's gonna be a lot different for the channel. You know, the channel's basically built on me showing you projects that I do, so you can do it to yours. This is gonna be a little different. If we decide to go this route, it's gonna be more of a, this is what I'm doing to do it. You know, this project's gotta get put back together. But the majority of it is just restoring an old car. All right, well, that's option number two. My original 1984 Ford Mustang GT. Like I said, I acquired that vehicle in November of 1997. I drove it for three years, and then we took it out. We had paint and body work done to it. The last time that vehicle was ever driven on the road was in the fall of 2000. So it's official now, we've been off the road on that car 24 years, and I think it's about time to get that thing back on the road. So the cool thing with the Mustang is, like I said, I, I pretty much have like 96 to 97% of all the parts just on shelves. So to put that thing back together is really gonna be tiny out of pocket. So if I'm looking at saving some money, maybe the Mustang's the way to go, but I don't know, what do you guys think? What kind of build do you wanna see? We'll see the Adventure Traveler, and we'll see the nice fun hot rod from, from back in the day. So I did take a lot of grief for owning that car. Uh, it was multiple colors, it had different wheels and tires on it all the time. The interior was all different parts put together. I've blown transmission out of it. I broke down a lot. So the history between me and that car is massive, but that's another one. It's just like the Jeep. That thing, it's not going anywhere. I don't care how much money you offer me. The Jeep and the Mustang, I'm keeping for life. I can't let those go. So whether we complete the Mustang now or in another 20 years, who knows? But at some point, I wanna get that car back on the road. Cause like I said, it was my first car and I've been without it for 24 years. And man, that, that thing would be awesome to hear fire up again and, and cruise around the streets. But again, you guys, you let me know. Drop comments down below. Tell me what kind of builds you wanna see, what kind of projects you got going on. Maybe I can help you out. But uh, yeah, other than that, I'm gonna keep cleaning up the garage. Um, as far as the seats go on the Jeep, I still have those. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get those mounted in there. So we got projects for that coming. It is freezing ass cold outside, but we got the little diesel heater over here. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna do some winter camping. So that'll be fun. But I really appreciate y'all for, uh, for sticking around and for coming in and joining the club here. Uh, I think we got a good thing going. I'm trying to give you guys the best content that I can come up with to help you with projects that you're working on on your own. So again, you guys, happy new year. It's 2024. Let's get out there. Let's work on these projects. Let's keep things going. Let's get out and enjoy the outdoors. If you're out there racing or ripping on your cars or shredding it off road or just going out and having good camping weekends, get out there and do it. This is the year. I think things are kind of starting to get back to normal. Uh, we're still broke as hell, but you know, we're going to pull through. But as always, everybody out there, Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.